Okay, this is the third video on differential equations where we're going to look at actually setting up the differential equations in the first place. Um, so, I'm um, going to have a look at four different examples, I think. Basically, we're just going to try and turn sentences into equations. That's all we're doing here. So, uh, we have um, a population is growing at a rate that is uh, proportional to the size of the population. So the population, let's call that P, um, and that's growing at a rate. So that means dP by dt, growing at a rate. That it is proportional to the size of the population. Now, depending on how you've been taught to what proportion when you were in the lower school, you might say, okay, dP by dt is proportional the population. You might say that. And then you would then say, okay, well I can replace the proportion with an equals k, a constant, multiplied by the population. Um, or you might have just been told to just write that down straight away and forget about the proportion sign. Depends on how you were taught in the lower school. Um, but there we go. We've got the rate of change of the population is proportional, so equals k, times the population. So we've turned that sentence into a differential equation. Next, uh, radioactive particles decay, it's a really key word, decay at a rate that's proportional to the number of particles remaining. So we're talking about the number of particles, so let's call that n. So the rate of change of the particles, so dn by dt, is proportional to the number of particles remaining. So equals proportional to the number of particles remaining. However, it's decay. So the number of particles are going down. So this rate should be negative. So I need to have a negative in front of the k and the. Okay, getting a little bit harder. Uh, so it says the head of a snowman, radius r, loses volume by evaporation at a rate that's proportional to its surface area. Okay, so it's losing volume at a rate proportional to its surface area. So I'm thinking that dV by dt, so this is the volume, the rate of change of the volume, and that's proportional to the surface area, so k times a. But it's losing volume, so this should be negative. So the rate of change of the volume is proportional to the surface area, but it's negative because it's losing volume. So this is turning that sentence into an equation. The question says write down a differential equation for the rate of change of the radius. Right. So the rate of change of the radius. So I want dr by dt. The rate of change of the radius. So now I'm thinking about what did I do in the previous two videos? We're linking our variables together. So I know I can have a dr here and I now have a dt here and I can have any other variable I want in the bottom here and the top up there. Based on what I've written down at the top here, in the first sentence, I know I can put a dv here. So I'm going to have a dv here. Now, dr by dv, how is the radius of the snowman's head related to the volume? Well, let's assume, let's assume that the 
the snowman's head, let's say, let's say it's a sphere. So the volume of his head would be four thirds pi times the radius cubed. That's the volume of a sphere. So the rate of change of the volume um, with respect to the radius, if I differentiate this with respect to the radius, I'm going to get 4 pi r squared. I wanted dr by dv. I didn't want dv by dr, so I need to do the reciprocal of this. So this is my dr by dv, my dv by dt was this, now if it is a sphere then I know that the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So I can replace the area here with 4 pi r squared. Which is useful because what you will notice now then is we're going to get some cancellation. Four pi r squared will cancel out, and I will just get left with d r by dt is equal to minus k. There we go. Um, if you're worried about remembering these formulae the area being 4 pi r squared and the volume being 4 pi r cubed. Um, to be perfectly honest, for, for if it's a sphere, you should probably know these formulae anyway. You will have learned them at GCSE. Uh, if it's anything more complicated than a sphere, um, they will tell you the formulae. Um, they might even be generous and tell you these ones as well. Um, but don't, don't rely on that. Um, one more example. We have um, liquid pouring into a container at a rate of 10 centimetres cubed per second. So I've got dV by dt there. So liquid's pouring in at 10 centimetres cubed per second. Again, look at the unit volume per second. The liquid is also leaking out of the container at a rate that's proportional to the volume contained. So at a rate that's proportional to the volume contained. So that's going to be dv by dt is proportional. So equals uh, minus because the liquid is leaking out. K times the uh, proportion of the volume contained. So this is the, uh, the liquid is leaking out, so minus, it's a rate proportional, so equals K um, times the volume. So in terms of the overall situation here then, the rate of change of the volume, well that's going to be equal to what's going in, take away what's going out basically. If I've got a situation where I've got some liquid going in, I've got some liquid going out, then uh, if I want to work up the overall change, it's going to be in, take away, whatever goes out. What's going in? That's 10 centimetres cubed per second, so I can replace that with 10. And what's going out? Well, it's losing, so minus k v. And here's my differential equation now. So the rate of change of the volume per second is 10 minus kv. Okay, so in 
each of these examples, in each of these four examples, um, we've just set up the differential equation. In the next video, we'll look at how can we then solve these equations. Or in the next video, we'll look at a technique to solve these equations. Um, the video after that, we'll actually come back to solving the questions, solving the equations in context.